Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 23rd, 2022. Well, those bulls continued to surge yesterday, even in spite of traders pricing in a 50 basis point increase for May. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday or hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look um, at these charts here and notice that at, even as we pushed up yesterday, we pushed right into these resistance levels of the chart. And if you take a look at a lot of charts, if you just go through a list of charts, you're going to find a lot of stocks are pushing right up into downtrend resistance levels in those charts. So we've kind of stretched this rally six straight days up in the SPY and the QQQ, and that does make things a little bit unnerving. We are kind of due for a rest or pullback here in the market. And this morning, we're seeing just a little hint of bearishness coming in this morning. Now, let's take a look at these charts, and you can see right here at that price resistance level, we're getting a little bit of a pushback here this morning from the bears. And one of the reasons that that might be the case is those mortgage applications came out today um, not looking too good. As a matter of fact, we went to a negative 8.1% on mortgage applications today as this inflation continues to impact uh, consumer habits. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely as we move throughout the day. Let's take a look at where we could see those levels in here for support. If those bears get busy here, I want you to notice this could be a pretty painful pullback if those those bears do get active in here because we really don't have much price support in that chart until we move all the way back here, which could be a little bit punishing. So I want to caution everyone to be careful chasing these stocks that are really extended and indexes that are extended right now. As a matter of fact, if you have some profits, I was warning right way options folks yesterday that it might be a good idea to start taking them if you had them in these charts. So watch that closely. Now, let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. And our technicals have certainly improved quite a bit, noticing that our Dow has crossed back above that 50-day moving average. And that's all well and good if we can hold above that 50-day moving average. But like I said, we've got price support down in here. And if we were to cross back down into that area, a failure of the 50-day here, again, could be um, a little bit of a psychological problem for the market. So if you're a bull, keep your fingers crossed that we can hold that 50-day moving average in any pullback, or we could really experience some pretty substantial selling um, if that starts to fail. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Very much the same, very, very strong rally. Six straight days up. That always makes me a little bit nervous. One of my rules is any stock or index that moves up five to seven days in a row, I have to be paying attention for that potential pullback to occur in the market. And once again, if I draw a line across that high yesterday, you'll see that we slammed right into this resistance level in the chart. And we're going to want to be a little bit cautious and careful on that because the pullback to the next support level um, is going to be pretty painful if we pull back into there. So we're going to want to watch that pretty closely. Again, start thinking about maybe some of those profits, and I would be really careful chasing these stocks higher. Let's watch right in here. We did cross over that 200-day moving average, which is nice, but we still have that problem where our 50 is down below the 200. And as I said before, if we were to push all the way back down into that price support area, that would potentially constitute another failure of the 50. So again, if you want this market to be bullish, we need to see a higher low put in to the charts. We need to hold a higher low. Otherwise, we could have some real problems here um, with sellers or bears getting emboldened. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also stretched that rubber band pretty darn tight yesterday, actually popping that resistance just ever so slightly. 
but we are once again seeing those a um, little bit of bearishness pushing into um, the chart on the day and let's keep in mind that we would have to slip or we could slip all the way back down into here really to find much price support in the chart now we um, once again we crossed back up here crossed back up above that 50-day moving average we were challenged by that yesterday but pushed right I mean the day before but pushed right on through on Tuesday and now we see that little bit of bearishness it's gonna be really really important if you're a bull you're gonna want that 50-day moving average to hold because another failure here once again could be a little bit of a psychological problem here for the market and let's take a look at that Russell IWM also pushing continuing to rally up trying to break through some resistance here notice that we pushed up but pulled all the um, almost all the way back here before the end of the day and as you can see we've got just a massive level of price resistance in this chart um, I don't have a whole lot of confidence that we're going to be able to just bounce right through that so be kind of careful here on the Russell and you can see our technicals have improved with that price crossing back above the 50-day moving average but once again if we were to fail that 50-day moving average it could be problematic for the market so just keep a close eye on that we are a little bit stretched in this upside move let's take a quick look at our uh, VIX now our VIX yesterday <laughs> about 15 minutes before the close, our VIX was just almost flat on the day. And then in that end of day surge, and we're seeing that every day, just this end of day manipulation in the market as that dark pool activity gets consolidated to the market. As a matter of fact, we had almost more volume in the last 15 minutes of the day yesterday than we had all day yesterday so kind of an interesting situation to try and deal with here for retail traders but let's keep in mind we've got a little bit of a price support in here right in that 20 22 23 area in that chart we'll want to watch that carefully since we've got a little bit of bearishness coming in today if we were to pop up um, that could be a little bit of a problem for us so watch that if we can continue to um, relieve some of that pressure and see some of that fear come out of the market then we can continue that pushing down but I gotta say with rising interest rates um, commodity prices continuing to move higher we've got Brent crude today over 118 it's making it's making it very very difficult to see the bullish picture ahead that being said we could continue to see a little bit of bullishness in the market because of the end of quarter window dressing but after that I would be really really watching for that potential of a pullback in the market let's take a look at our um, T2122 now our T2122 yesterday nearly pegged itself out early in the day yesterday we were up here at 97 and a half on our T2122 we are definitely in that bearish reversal zone now we could see more of a resting consolidation and and that could pull that back in here without having a major fall in prices but one thing we know for sure is we can't maintain this very long when we push up in here in t2122 you will never ever find a time never find a time when we've pushed up into that area that we don't see some kind of pullback or consolidation in the market um, um, happen so watch that closely now hopefully it won't be just another one of these great big whips that we've seen here recently hopefully it'll be a little bit more controlled but let's watch that carefully we are overbought in the short term uh, if we take a look at our t2108 our t2108 rallied yesterday um, right at the end of the day actually extended a little bit further and i mean right at the end of the day in the last couple of minutes of the day we extended that even further 57 and a half percent of our stocks above our 40-day moving average so I still have to give this to the bulls they've done a really good job breaking this trend here in the chart if you were to draw a trend here we still have a little bit of trouble in that area but we are a little extended in the short term so we should be watching for a little pullback if we look at our t2107 gonna have to give that up to the bulls here as well that was actually looking a little bit lower 
just a few minutes before the close yesterday. And as you can see, we pushed up right at the end of the day on that surge, right at the end of the day, pushing up to challenge that downtrend in the chart. We did break through that level of price resistance, but we still have this one here to deal with. And of course, that downtrend to deal with. 36, almost 37% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average. That's a nice change, but can we continue that momentum with volumes being so low? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look um, um, at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic Economic calendar. Well, I've already let you know that our mortgage applications came in very, very weak, a negative 8.1%. Not a big surprise. We'll want to notice that we've got before the bell here, we've got Jerome Powell that's going to be talking. He is becoming, his tough talk is becoming more and more hawkish. Um, and I think that may be just a result of them kind of looking forward in this next month with commodity prices continue to rise as fast as they are. It's hard to imagine that that CPI number next month won't be pretty damaging. So um, they're getting pretty concerned about fighting inflation. In fact, he has said he's willing to sacrifice market growth for um, that attack on inflation. We'll see if that tough talk is maintained, but for now, the market does seem to be pricing in a 50 basis point increase in May. Keep an eye right here. We have new home sales um, a little bit later this morning. We've got the petroleum status numbers. We know that with Brent crude pushing to 118 this morning and continuing to move on up, natural gas prices continue to um, push higher. That's going to be important number today to see whether or not it continues to support um, those prices. We've got Mary Daly speaking today and then this one might be interesting. We've got a 20-year bond auction here today. We've been seeing these um, bond yields rising sharply and we're getting massive foreign demand now buying up bonds. So keep an eye on that. Could be an interesting uh, one to pay attention to. Remember as you're planning forward guys we have a durable goods order tomorrow and can census estimates are suggesting that could come in at a negative number. So um, watch that carefully. Probably the biggest report of the week. Um, let's take a look at our earn, um, at earnings calendar. In our earnings calendar, we have you know around 50 companies on the calendar um, here today. Um, uh, most of them are not really going to be you know the kind of stocks that move the market a bunch, but there are some notables. Take a look at like WGO, WG reporting today looks like uh, maybe continuing in its downtrend here. Um, um, uh, Tencent um, had um, an interesting report today. Even though their revenue is e extremely slow, they had an improvement um, in um, their results today. So we're trying to pop up a little bit here on this, but oh boy, um, I'm not sure that's something that's particularly notable here for the day and really market moving. We're going to hear from JKS. Keep an eye on that one. Um, we have been rallying recently heading into that earnings report, but notice we still have this downtrend in the chart that we'll want to be concerned with as we press and try to break through some of these levels. We've got KBH today. That will be interesting um, to see whether or not these higher prices are starting to damage some of the builders. And you know, they've been kind of downtrending here um, um, in these charts. So watch that closely. That might be interesting. So if you guys want to see the full list of potential notables, you might want to click that link just below the title of the video and that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. With that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but please keep in mind guys, um, as we do that, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. And before we do that, just another reminder, if you could help me out guys by clicking that subscribe button on YouTube and then also clicking that bell icon um, so you can be notified every time um, I post one of these videos. And if you feel that these videos are worthy and helpful, if you could do me a favor, click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Now, I promised yesterday that I would be answering
answering comments and I got all caught up in a conversation with the Right Way Options group and extended so long um, yesterday that I didn't get a chance to do that. So I apologize, but I, I will be on that today. Um, it, I hate it when I uh, miss the opportunity because I truly, truly am grateful and appreciate everyone who does take the time to comment, helps the channel to continue to grow. And for those of you that continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link below the title of the video, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And there will be some more um, live um, um, training events that I will be planning here in the very near future. So watch for those notifications. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind, they're not recommendations to buy or sell. You're going to have to be very, very careful. And I do think that if we get a pullback in the market, it can draw down even some of the best of the stocks in the market. So watch these closely. First off, I'm going to mention Mo. Now, Mo is one that I have a bias on because I own Mo and I'm holding it based on this weekly chart. And I'm just looking for, you know, the strong dividend payment in this and just this little defensive sector stock um, to uh, continue to hold up. It's more of a protection trade than much of anything else. I'm not looking for giant leaps um, in the price here on Mo. But on that weekly chart, we're continuing to look pretty good. And I do like that position at the moment. Um, again, I have a little bit of bias on that. Let's take a look at um, some of these um, solar stocks. Uh, take a look at TAN. TAN continuing to hold up in here in the chart. Anything in that alternative energy seems to be holding up pretty well here recently. Um, obviously, as oil prices continue to rise, there's going to be a whole lot more interest in these kind of stocks and taking taking a look at the stocks in that etf nova is one that i i mentioned yesterday that is a nice looking chart and it did push on through yesterday looking good so start looking at some of these charts we're starting to show those bullish patterns and things like that in some of these um, solar charts um, that being said take a look at plug power now here again i have a little bit of a bias here i um, have picked up a plug power and I'm continuing to hold it. It looks like we're going to get a little bit of a pop and drop on it today um, in the pre-market anyway. But so far, plug power has produced pretty well um, for us in right-way options. Watch that closely, however, we... Oops darn thing changed tools on me. We have um, this uptrend that we'll want to be considering and breaking through that resistance in the chart. We want to make sure that we can hold that in a pullback. So if this has to pull back or rest, I want to see that kind of hang in that area as we slide out here toward that trend. So watch that closely. I'm not expecting this to just rip to the upside either, but those alternative energies are showing quite a little bit of bullishness in the market. Now that being said, you know guys, we're going to have to continue um, to look at these commodities. Um, take a look at um, corn. Um, corn is um, an ETF um, based um, strictly, well, it's a corn fund, but based um, strictly on corn futures. And as you can see in here, um, continuing to move higher. And as we continue to see energy prices move up, that's affecting everything that we, um, that we do in our food. I live in a very rural area where farmers um, rule the roost here. And I got to tell you, um, they are in um, serious concern because um, the fertilizer prices, all of these things are going up. And um, we're seeing these prices continue to surge um, as a result. So look for those food prices to continue to move higher. Take a look at like DBC. DBC is a commodity tracking ETF showing lots of strength here, continuing to show that strength. We had quite a pullback, but rallying right back up as those commodity prices continue to rise. Um, and speaking of those commodity prices, we want to take a look at some of these miners. Um, although we had gold and silver doing a little bit of a pullback yesterday, 
a little bit of a rest. Some of these miners, Barrick Gold, this is a nice little pattern setup where we could push on through here to the upside. Keep an eye on that. Newmont Mining holding up quite well. You can see a little bit of bullishness building into that this morning as this continues to try and push on higher. Watch that one closely. AUY um, also showing lots of bullishness. So a lot of these gold and silver miners showing bullishness um, in the market. Um, and not not that big a surprise considering the pressures that we're seeing here inflation wise in the market so watch those closely um, let's also take a look at um, some of those energies if you take a look at um, like exxon mobile exxon mobile pushing up here we had um Schlumberger, um um, yesterday um, added to Goldman Sachs conviction buy list continuing to show bullishness now we have that petroleum status number that could have an effect here but we'll want to watch those pretty darn closely here as they continue to show uh, moves higher and there just doesn't seem to be there just does not seem to be any way to avoid those prices going higher as the Russian Ukraine thing continues to move along, impacting both our grain commodities and our energy commodities. So watch those close. So there's a few stocks for you to look at. There are quite a few others that are trying to come up out of those bottoms, but they're just not quite ready for prime time yet. We'll talk about those uh, maybe in a future video, but I wanna wish you guys a fantastic day. Thanks for being here. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.